to celebrate the launch of the highly anticipated historical turn-based strategy title Humankind, which is available to stream right now on NVIDIA GeForce Now, we've been playing via the cloud gaming service and we've learned a thing or two about how best to enjoy the game on the move. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. After playing Humankind almost exclusively in the cloud, we've learned a lot about how to approach the early phases of the game. And while we haven't spent quite as long as we'd like, we have a few early impressions, tips, and some important lessons that we have learned that might help those eyeing the title and might be looking to pick it up on GeForce Now. So we'll start with the most obvious first, as Humankind is designed to be played with a mouse and keyboard. Sure, you can play with the on-screen cursor and mouse and keyboard, but it would be wrong of us to say the experience will be exactly the same. You can get your Android phone connected to a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and you're going to unlock the full experience that's possible here. That might come at the expense of some portability, especially if you don't want to play on a laptop or tablet, but it's the next best thing possible. Another really obvious thing when firing up Humankind for the first time is to take advantage of that initial tutorial. There is a lot of information to digest at first glance, but you can return to those tips and tricks at any time during your playthroughs. On top of that, you can adjust just how in-depth you want it to be. If you're happy to dive in though and learn while playing, then so be it, but you'll definitely master the game far quicker by getting hints about the in-game mechanics and systems in place. In the early phases of the game, you'll need to do a lot of exploring of that in-game map to find the best positions of resources and to build your civilization up from scratch. Toggling the auto-explore option for bands of your troops will take care of one of the slowest gameplay loops and allow you to focus on the nitty gritty management and society growth controls. The early game process relies so much on exploration to get things going, but it's important to have troops marauding your in-game map before things really start to kick off as the game progresses. Another early in-game tip that can't be stressed highly enough, especially once your population starts to increase, is by splitting your troops. By tapping on your units, you have the option to split up to cover ground quicker, and in tandem with that auto-explore feature, it will just help you to enjoy all other areas of the game while the map expands without much input. If you're playing Humankind on the move and your connection may drop out or may not be available at any one point in time, and you just don't know how long you'll have to spend with the game, one of the best things to do is actually to use your turns to hold back and pause and save. This is a turn-based strategy title after all, and there is no penalization for saving and leaving the game when you're in the middle of a turn. No CPU players can progress until you've completed all of your turns, so that means that you can just save your progress and come back when you have a solid connection and the time to spare. So that's not the most exhausted list of tips, but it's a few things we noticed straight away after a fairly, fairly brief time of playing through Humankind on the cloud gaming services. If you've adjusted though to the world of cloud gaming, what are your personal top tips for playing on the go or on the move? Be sure to let us know down in the comments sections below. And to try out GeForce Now for yourself, you can get started playing for free via the link in the description. Be sure to check the regular GeForce Now Thursday blog post too, which detail the latest and greatest games, new features, and all news direct from NVIDIA on the growing platform. And thanks again to NVIDIA for sponsoring 95 Google here on YouTube.